Motorola is pleased to introduce the Altair wireless network, the first of a family of communications products based on our wireless in-building network or WIN technology. Altair is the name of one of the brightest stars in the universe, and our new product represents the brightest star in the wireless universe. Altair, quite simply, is wireless connectivity for Ethernet local area networks. It is a direct, transparent replacement or complement for the wire that connects personal computers and other devices in today's Ethernet lands. The following video segment illustrates a business office scenario where wiring and wireless considerations are discussed. Welcome to the Churchill Building, part of architectural history in this town. Makes you feel good just to walk into it. Except all I can think about is we have less than three days to set up for 20 people and their PCs. Like any modern company, we depend on personal computers networked personal computers. Local area networks provide the links that let our team work together. But when you're short on time, well, the first thing Eileen, the PC manager, wanted to know was how she was going to get a LAN wired up. All the original plans had disappeared sometime around the end of the Depression. We had no accurate structural details, no information about conduits or wiring. I wanted to know why we couldn't just set up in a modern building with modern conduit. Fred, our facilities manager, said old or modern wasn't the problem. He asked if I remembered how long it took to set communications up when finance moved from the first to the second floor in November. We finished wiring that land just about the time there was another reorganization. And then, we had to start all over again. Eileen said, wait a minute. If we want to do it fast, what about going wireless? I couldn't believe my ears. For real lands? In buildings? Wireless? Of course, Eileen was right. Wireless would be terrific if you could find the right technology. Because our facilities manager was right, too. Our problems were not unique. It didn't matter whether a space was historical or modern. Today you see wire everywhere, overflowing off the backs of desks, piling up in corners, filling the spaces between walls, and then you have all the moves, ads, and changes. In our company, maybe 80% of our people change or move every year. Then you have to rewire, or add still more wire. Computer networks were supposed to give us power, and set us free, and save us money. Instead, all this wire is tripping us up and tying us down and breaking the piggy bank. Because there's the cost of the wire and labor, and the time, and the cost of the time of running land wires, and rerunning land wires, it's a lot more than people tell you. We need a new way to go. We're strangling on copper and twisted pear and fiber optic spaghetti. Eileen says wireless. I say whatever works. But it does have to work. It has to carry all the information my team needs, fast as it needs it. I don't want some toy solution. And she says, wait till you see. I've read about all these new wireless things, spread spectrum this and infrared that. But they're all slow and unreliable with compatibility or interference problems. Eileen says, yeah, all except one. There is one new technology that is capable of high-speed data handling. The only difference is radio replaces wire. You'd use the same network software, same applications, same everything. For example, Eileen says we have to expand an existing wired local area network at one of our other divisions. The only difference is radio replaces wire. You'd use the same network software, same applications, same everything. For example, Eileen says we have to expand an existing wired local area network at one of our other divisions. And we want to preserve our investment in our old land. They're planning to use our existing wired land and just expand it with wireless units. Wired and wireless will interconnect seamlessly. 
Of course, we could replace wired with wireless. If we did that, we wouldn't need all these reams of blueprints to plan land wiring. We'd just set each PC up, and the whole system would be ready to go in hours instead of weeks. Maintenance would be easier with the wireless land too. There'd be fewer errors and system failures. Our PC manager points out that 50% of system problems have to do with wiring faults. Remove the wires, you remove the faults. Of course, now that there's a real wireless solution coming, people are beginning to see more uses for wireless LANs. Eileen is now sure that this new LAN technology is perfect for my team's new facilities. We can set up in hours instead of days or weeks. And if we ever decide to move again, we just contact the vendor. They'll get us a frequency to use the equipment in our new location. We won't have to leave our investment behind. We can take it with us. We're even thinking wireless for our new headquarters building. That's still in the planning stages, but we know what's coming, the wireless office. Because a wireless office is a flexible office, an office you can configure any way you need it, any time you need it. But to deliver that flexibility, the technology still has to be robust. Can they really do that? Wire isn't the only answer anymore. So who has the new answer? We should have known who would have the solution. I mean, who has the most experience in radio? Who's the biggest supplier of wireless technology in the whole world? Only Motorola. Wiring. The expense of installing, moving, and changing limits the way companies can productively use networks. To stay productive, LANs have to move and change with the workforce they support. The Altair product brings unparalleled wireless flexibility and extensibility to today's Ethernet networks. I'd like to take you through a more detailed description of the Altair product, its performance characteristics and benefits, as well as pricing and availability. Let me first introduce the Altair hardware. There are two basic types of Altair modules, one control module and one or more user modules. User modules are connected to Ethernet devices such as personal computers and printers. The control module is connected to Ethernet servers and wired networks and sends data between user modules as well as data to and from wired LANs. Radio signals provide communications between the control module and user modules. Each module weighs about five pounds and is small enough to blend easily within the office environment. That's the Altair product. In a typical office environment, the control module is the traffic cop for a single Altair microcell. Each microcell can support up to 32 Ethernet devices in an office area of approximately 5,000 square feet. Each user module is capable of connecting from one to six Ethernet devices. For example, a full microcell could consist of 32 user modules, each serving a single Ethernet device. Or it can consist of just six user modules, each serving five or six users, up to the total of 32. We've designed this flexibility into each user module with the knowledge that no one office environment is the same. The capability to connect from one to six Ethernet devices per user module means that significant per port savings and connection flexibility can be realized. User modules can either be placed on the desk or on such things as file cabinets or cubicle tops. The control module is placed near the center of the work group from 7 to 15 feet high. Once the control module is in place, user modules are easily relocated underneath, providing for more flexible wireless local area networking. Altair ensures that any signal path obstruction, such as closing of doors, movement of furniture, and so on, will not affect operations. Thus. Altair works as well in both open and enclosed offices. Line of sight between the control module and a user module is not required. An Altair microcell can be deployed in a number of ways. If a customer has an in-place, hardwired Ethernet LAN and desires to add new users, Altair modules can be added to extend the reach of this fixed LAN. For adding entire new LANs, Altair can be installed to serve this new work group or department without extensive LAN wiring. This capability to 
easily connect to existing lands is because of Altair's designed in transparency. Altair is compatible with any standard 802.3 network with personal computers, servers, printers, workstations, terminals, and other Ethernet devices. The customer does not have to buy unique cards nor implement special software to work with Altair. Altair works with any network operating system. These represent distinct advantages over more limited wireless products. Altair is therefore simple to install. In other words, plug and play was a major goal. To install, plug the supplied FinNet cable into the back of the personal computer's BNC port. Plug the other end into the Altair user module. Plug in the power and wait a few seconds. After confirming that it has reliable communications with the control module, the user module's green light indicates that Altair is ready for full-time, high-speed Ethernet communications. That's it. No more waiting for someone to move and reinstall your wired communications link. Installation time is measured in minutes rather than days or weeks. The Altair network is also extensible. Larger LANs can easily be accommodated simply by adding Altair microcells to the Ethernet backbone. We believe the Altair product satisfies the market requirements for wireless networks. The product we've introduced today performs at multi-megabit speeds. It's easy to deploy and use and provides ultimate flexibility. The Altair network is transparent. It works with standard Ethernet components. And Altair is secure. It offers a level of data integrity and security equal to or higher than the wire it replaces. And finally, cost effectiveness. Altair pays for itself in cost savings and productivity improvements. Altair products, which are available now, have been priced to pay for themselves in cost savings alone for many configurations and environments. The list price for a control module, which can serve up to 32 Ethernet devices, is $3,995. The price for a user module, which can connect up to six Ethernet devices, is $995. Network cost per node, or user, depends on how many devices are connected to a user module. For example, a 30-user Altair network, consisting of a control module and five user modules, works out to a cost of just $299 per user. But the real beauty of the Altair network comes with time. The advantages of immediate network flexibility and lowered cost of ownership make real business sense. We believe that the Altair network provides a serious in-building wireless solution for high-speed, high-traffic Ethernet LANs in today's business environment. Motorola's reputation not only is the worldwide leader in wireless communications, but also in quality, as the first winner of the Malcolm Baldridge Award assures that customers will receive highly reliable products from a company that will be there as the communications needs evolve and Motorola Altair's award as Technology of the Year by Land Magazine ensures continued leading-edge product enhancements. Welcome to the wireless world.